hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is darnell and welcome to my channel where we do sewing fashion and all things creative in darnell's corner so today as you can see from the title we are doing a skincare routine for oily skin and as you can see my skin is oily so the state of my skin right now i have been doing content all day so follow me on instagram to see my photos and my tiktok to see my videos um and also here subscribe here so i've been doing some content today so this is how my skin looks after a good while of doing content and having makeup on my face and things like that so as you can see my forehead is shiny and my t-zone basically my t-zone is shiny so i am an oily skin type so if you are an oily skin type let's get into it basically what i do first is well i have to take off my makeup so what i'm going to do is i'm using well i don't have like the right bottle right now but i have it in this it's a little ghetto i know but i'll show it um right here i am using the micellar water to take off my makeup and then i'm also using this last bit of um, cotton pads so i'm going to use those to take off my makeup and if you guys want to see like my makeup routine or anything like that um let me know in the comments below or not even that because i know there's a lot of you know makeup videos now on youtube it's 2022 so i know there's definitely a whole lot of um makeup videos on youtube but if you want to know like the products that i use i'm more than happy to list those down in a comment for you just you know give me a thumbs up or let me know down down in the comments below if you do want to and i will most definitely um i'll let you guys know the products that i use okay so i'm gonna kind of speed this up and then we'll go ahead and do the cleansing okay so my skin is partially cleaned well at least let me say all of the makeup is off of my skin as far as i can see right now so next i'm going to use again i have the travel size um i'm going to use the cerave uh cleanser i'll put it here on the side what i use i know it's a cleanser for oily to normal skin and i'm going to use my spin brush normally um i would wet the brush and then put it on put on like a drop or two or it's in a pump bottle so I do like one pump and then I look like you do this I don't know why it's kind of germs I guess but um I do that just to lather it on my skin sometimes my spin brush freaks out so I don't I don't even like turn it on but it does come on it does have like a higher low but I don't pay that any mind sometimes and then I would put on a timer for about a minute and 30 seconds to about two minutes sometimes and I will wash my face so I'm going to put that on a minute and 30 seconds and then go ahead and do that And then um, also like, um, it's, I don't wear makeup every day. I don't do content every day. But um, on days when I don't wear makeup, I I just do this. It like lathers a lot. But today, as you can see, my brush is like dirty from the makeup. So I may go in and 
wash the makeup off and then do it a second time but I won't time the second time I would just do it um, just to make sure that um, when I brush my face again that the makeup is fully off and my skin is completely clean of the makeup and also it's been like um, a little over a month I would say maybe a month and a week or so since I've tried these products and there goes my timer and there has been um, like my my skin like has improved my friend like commented on my face when she faced on me she was like oh my gosh your skin looks very nice and like I love it because now I finally found something that works for my face and you will see everything that does work for my face but give me one second I'm going to wash this off and then we're going to lather my face again so as you can see there's still makeup on my face, so definitely have to go in again and wash my face. My skin has improved very much um, with the products that I've used. I can, um, I think I do have a um, a photo of how my skin looks before I started, and then I can do an after. Also, I would say don't mind the this one. I think that was like a mosquito bump on my face. I'm not fully sure, but um, yeah. I don't know if it's might be from. I'm not sure where it came from, but yeah. Besides that, like my skin and my face has been and become pretty clear. The only thing I will say though that um, I I think I just got a little bit more oily now but that doesn't necessarily bother me that much. Maybe I can find something that would control it but the only time it would bother me is if like during like makeup times. I can just dab when I'm ready. You know, so that's not a huge, huge issue for me. Maybe I, I should find something that would control the oils on my skin a little bit more. Okay, that is much better. Also, um, before I say that, I'm going to use now the Mara Badescu uh, facial spray. It's it's kind of used as like a toner so I'm using this as my toner so I would spray this spray that on my face and then you know kind of fan it let it dry a little bit I forgot what I was talking about I'm talking way too much I guess I guess with controlling oils I guess I can find something with that okay so now I'm using this the ordinaries not sorry hyaluronic acid is what I'm using so I would do a drop here oops a drop there one on my forehead and then one on my chin And all of the items that I'm using will be in the description down below if you would want to try these out. These are not sponsored but hopefully when I get a little bit bigger and you guys like this and share this with your, with your friends that serve me the ordinary Mario Badescu and the other one the other one that i'm using the good molecules will see this video and maybe they will sponsor me i'm putting that in the air that they will yeah excuse me for talking so much i'm 
it's just my exciting day. I talk a lot when I'm excited, but I've been doing a lot getting into this content stuff, you know. If you're new here, I've been trying to do content since about 2019 and I'm trying to get a bit more serious. Oh, sorry, I'm using the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. And the reason I got to know about these products is doing uh, watching a lot of videos based on this as well so if you're the same person as me who you look at videos and use that as your research with persons from persons who have similar skin types as you similar shades of melanin as you I use videos to help me better with my purchases and like skin, fashion and all that stuff. So if you're that type of person, hello, I'm just like you. And yes, if you have oily skin, you would use these stuff that I'm using. The last thing that I would use is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. Now this one is for normal to dry skin but I use this because I'm living in the Bahamas right now and our climate is kind of warm so this is much better for me than using the regular um, moisturizer but if you're in a co colder climate I would say to use the the regular one but back to what I was saying, yeah, I've, I've, I've just done a few more videos, so if you want to watch an, a lot more videos just to help you with your research on what products to use, I will list the videos that helped me out and may give you a little bit more scientific meaning behind the products that I've used and why they're using it. Yeah, that that part is not for me. I will just tell you what I've used. Um, for my skin type and how it works for me. Yeah, these products have worked really well for me and I would also use the Super Goop as well if I'm going outside. It's nighttime right now so this is kind of like my nighttime routine but if, it's, if this is in the morning or in the daytime and I'm going outside somewhere where I'm exposed to the sun then I would use the Super Goop SPF but that is kind of like not maybe not expensive but if you don't want to spend the $36 on an ounce of sunscreen I understand maybe you can find some another type of sun sunscreen it doesn't have to be that that particular one doesn't have a white cast it isn't white at all um, when it comes out. These are the products that I use for my oily skin type for my skin routine and then when I'm done I usually use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter for my lips because my lips tend to be chopped a lot sometimes so and it's chopped right now so I do that so that's that's it in what I use uh, for my oily skin as my skin routine. I hope this video wasn't all over the place. I hope this video helped you out. If this video did help you out, give it a like, a comment, share it with your friends that have oily skin or want to do more and get better with their skincare routine and um yeah that that helps me out that helps my channel to get out to other people and to be more seen to others and let others know that yeah if you're the type of person that i am and we can relate together then welcome to this creative community so that is it thank you guys so much for watching again i really hope that you liked it and that you did understand it 
check also check out my socials my instagram and my tiktok as well i will have them right here on the screen i will see you guys next time in my next video bye